Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to my Let's Play of Third Exit. An RPG Maker horror game made in RPG Maker MV by Zero Digit Z. And it is indeed, yeah, as I said, a horror game, but you don't have to worry about jump scares as it is said that this game relies more on its environments to give it horror feels. Also going to include time events, so either press buttons or me and I'm fortunate demise. Challenging puzzles means we'll probably be stuck for a while <laughs> knowing me. And a violent trap, so probably if you step on the wrong tile, you're going to end up dead. So, third exit. Let's see what you have in stock. I even heard this is going to be a commercial game. And yeah, this demo only has one chapter. So if you try and select on chapter two, for example, yeah, it's not available in the demo. And obviously, self explanatory, number three as well. So. The numbers must mean portraits in the game, as I've seen on the RPG Maker page, that there's hidden items scattered around the game. I need them to unveil a secret. Press shift to skip. No, I don't want to skip. I like introductions. Matthias. Matthias? How did I get here? What the heck? I can't move? Oh, scream for help. Try to move your body again. It's no use. I can't move anything from the neck down. Jesus Christ. What was that sound? Yeah, try screaming for help. That's going to be the worst idea in the history of humanity. Oh, this is a conveyor belt, isn't it now? I don't like that sound at all. I have to get off this thing before... Okay. Well, how do I... Where is this thing taking me? I don't know. Help! Yes, help. Please, somebody help me. Like, which buttons do you just want press to do this? Or are we just... Yeah, we're dead. Well then, it was certainly in our dreams as we could not do anything or any buttons popped up for us to press. It was just a nightmare. It wasn't real. <sighs> I'm so tired. I can barely... I can barely keep my eyes open wasn't real. It, none of it was. Please just let me go to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Another one. I like the hazy effect, actually. No. The damn doorbell rings right when I'm about to go to sleep. Damn it, postman. Couldn't you come back later? I have a very busy schedule here, and it's called sleep. Eve? Can you get the door for me? Eve? Eve is not with you. God damn it! We're pumped back to reality. It's a picture of me and Eve from our honeymoon. Mr. and Mrs. Holloway. Tutorial. Press Z to begin the tutorial. Press X to cancel. X to cancel the tutorial. Okay. Welcome to the tutorial. The first thing we're going to learn is the controls. Use the arrow keys or left click mouse to move about. Yes, now that you're familiar with the controls, you have the option to exit the room, so in the tutorial will turn you back to the main story. The other option is to record one of the text. Re so, read one of the textbooks in this room. Each textbook has tips on how to survive this nightmare. 
Well, I think we're going to need all of the help that we can get. Shift, holding shift also allows you to run. Portraits. Portraits are hidden in various places. Finding portraits will unlock flashbacks. Find all of them to reveal a secret. Reveal a secret. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe important to write down. I don't know. Um, I'll come back to that later on, actually, to see if there is anything that I need to uh, write down from. Okay, enemies. You will encounter multiple enemies during gameplay. You will lose health if the enemy makes contact with you. I don't mind enemies in the game. It's just that if it's like a battle st RPG battle style sort of scenario, I kind of take a little bit of a loss in interest just because of the monotony in it. Some enemies take multiple hits to kill you, other enemies can kill you with one hit, be careful. Okay, full screen and FPS modes, also means frames per second by the way. Press F2 for FPS stats, F4 to enter full screen. Uh, I don't want to enter full screen because number one, it stretches the, um, the window and number two, it mucks up my recording. Absolutely no idea. Run! You are disqualified. Three six nine two one four five seven. Um, this is probably actually something secret. Yeah, run again. Okay, we will leave that for now. That's probably some sort of secret puzzles. You will encounter several puzzles, some much more difficult than others. Take your time and look for clues to help you solve the puzzles. Cool. I do like puzzles, but I don't like illogical puzzles. Or puzzles which don't have any hints towards them. Hold shift to move faster, you can also change the speed via the menu screen. Ah, always dash. No, I'd rather... I would rather hold shift down to run because in some cases I may prefer just to walk. Loading and saving. You can load your game at a title screen or from the menu screen. Save locations are not available in the main menu screen and can only be found during gameplay. So yeah, save locations are limited, so be careful and save often. Yep, save when you can. Items. Any item that you obtain will be stored in your inventory. To access the inventory, press X or enter to enter the menu and select items. Hmm? Are you sure it's not this? Oh, right. Escape key fob. Keyless entry for my car. Fascinating. The calculator says 369. Yeah, but we've already tried to input that in, didn't we now? But that failed. Some other secrets involved. 369. Uh, other window? What about this whiteboard back here? Absolutely nothing? Okay, we'll look. We'll go through here. Okay, we're back to the bedroom. We're back into normality. There's nothing important here. One missed call from... Unknown. Withheld, probably. How is she able to keep her drawers so clean? Everything in here is so freaking neat. It's almost like she never touches her clothes. Wah. Who keeps making that sound? Okay, I can't come and stop ringing that damn doorbell. Static. What's happening now? It's my rescue inhaler for my asthma. The cartridge is empty. Freaking heck. I don't have any voicemails today. Thank goodness. Peter better pay back for what he's done yesterday. There's a book here titled The the Buick method? Do you want to read read it? Yeah. Certain events will cause mafias cause mafias to have asthma attacks. A mini game will initiate where mafias will use a form of buckyache breathing exercise to help with his asthma attack. Press the correct patterns will allow mafias to be relieved of the symptoms. Pressing the wrong button will cause mafias to succumb to his asthma attack. Thank you for that. Uh, it's my favorite soda, Jetty Cola. Hey, those are the save points. An episodic horror TV show is playing. 
A mum and daughter are checking into a hotel. The mother is extremely sick. The daughter is leaving the hotel to retrieve medicine for her mother. Is this going to cause an asthma attack? The daughter has retrieved the medicine and is making her way back to the hospital. She tries to open the door to her hotel room but her key won't open the door. The daughter goes back to the lobby and explains to the manager that she needs access to her room immediately. Um, I do wonder why the text is slightly shifted to the right rather than being centered. Or to the left actually. The hotel manager asks her what her room number is. She tells him the room number and explains that she booked the room 15 minutes ago. The manager stares at the woman with a puzzled look. Keep watching. Why are you staring at me like that? The woman asks the employee. The manager says, follow me to the young lady. Not a good sign. Won't fall for it. Zero out of ten in services. They make their way to the room and open the door. The room is occupied by a stranger that the door has never seen before. The mother is missing. The daughter yells out for her mother, but there is no response. The manager tells the woman that the hotel has been overbooked for days. The hotel doesn't have any vacancies. That's why I gave you a strange look earlier, the manager said. Keep watching. The daughter proceeds to call the police after the manager refuses her request to search the hotel to find her mother. The police arrive and conduct a search of the entire hotel, checking every single room and space available in this shady establishment. Unfortunately, the police are not able to find the mother after their thorough search. The police tells the daughter to file a missing person's report. The upset daughter pleads with the police, but they refuse to believe her story. Eventually, the daughter, is to, for, sorry, the daughter is forced to leave the hotel after she becomes unruly over her mother's disappearance. Two months have passed since her mum went missing and the daughter has not even found a clue on her whereabouts. One day, the daughter looks at the hotel keycard and notices a smudge on it. She wipes it off and discovers that the number 8 on the card was actually a 6. Uh, the daughter immediately realises that she did attempt to enter the wrong room, but doesn't explain why the police couldn't find her mother. Tune in next week to find out what happens next. Well then, remote control. Hopefully I can press the right digits on it to access better parts of my life. Third floor. What's this? I don't remember ordering anything. The package isn't labelled. Hey, did you see who left this package at my front door? No, I didn't see anyone. I came out of here to see who was beating on your door, but by the time I entered the hallway, the person was gone. Okay, thanks. Obtained a mystery box, but why are you just looking at me like that? That's what I want to know. Wait, what the heck? I entered, I entered the kitchen and the kitchen doesn't have any doors. Um, that's... Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. That's the... This door. How silly am I? Portrait room. Ah, this is where all the portraits are stored. Atonement. Nightmare. Guilt. Love. Eve. And this one? Press the button. Yes, nothing happened. But we're for later on. Something in the bin. It's my rescue inhaler for my asthma. The cartridge is empty. We could take it along just in case we might find other things later on in the game. Bathroom? Well, greetings, someone's in there. Welcome home. Toilet? Toilet paper? Bath towel? No Drew hamper? Bathroom supplies? Nothing there. Eve's wedding ring. This is the only time she ever takes it off. Who was at the door? Mailman. There's a package out there and it isn't mine. Huh? I didn't order anything. Hmm. We'll keep you and your butt cheeks in there, okay? Okay, dokey. Cabinet's filled with kitchen supplies. A mild odour is coming from inside this trash can? Not yet. 
investigate the other parts of this room first. I purchased this microwave a few days ago. It's been great so far. I can't believe it's already May. Time flies by so fast. Really, so fast. It's September. I'm not hungry at the moment. There is some dishwashing soap and paper towels resting on the countertop. I better tell the landlord about this leak. I can still smell the aroma from the food I cooked last night. It is delicious. Open the box. It's a letter. There's a note inside the box. Read a note. This is just the beginning of your nightmare. Wow. What a kind of threat is that? Nightmare? Is this some sort of joke? Hey! Is this some sort of prank? And the microwave just turned on on its own. The microwave... Yeah! <laughs> um, what are you going to turn out? Churn out? You going to open up the microwave? It's never done that before. Must be some electronic malfunction. No, there's some sort of extraterrestrial manifestation involved with this. For Christ's sake. Oh, the doorbell again. Uh, no, one way. This one. Well, greetings. Can I help you? Are you Mephius Holloway? Yeah? Mr. Holloway, my name is Officer Riker. About an hour ago, we had an accident take place on the highway. A car crash occurred on the highway, and I regret to inform you that your wife was involved and was seriously injured. Wait, she was just in the shower just now. What? That's not possible. My wife is in the bathroom. I think you have the wrong person. Is your wife's name Eve Holloway? Yes, but... Sir, this is the information I was given. I'm extremely sorry about what happened. I truly am. But it is imperative that you... Hold on a second. Don't you hear the shower running? No, I don't hear anything. Are you serious? You don't hear the water running? No, sir. Hmm. So who is in there? Eve, could you come out here, please? It's important. Eve? I'm sorry, officer. I don't know what's taking us so long. Can you wait here for a second while I go check on her? Sir, I've already told you. Please. <sighs> okay. Eve. Mm. Yeah, who the freaking heck is in the shower then? Eve? Honey? Yes, open it. There's no one in there. This can't be. She was right here. Well then, you're just gonna... And now he's gone. The officer's gone now, for goodness sakes. What the heck is going on here now? There's a mystery behind your wrist. Uh, yeah, the officer just went. Hi there. What are you to do with all this? What's up, Mephius? The sky. Um, the sky? <laughs> That's a good one. You crack me up, Mephius, with your clever jokes and your Backstreet Boys haircut. <sighs> Stupid old bastard. You say something? Nope. Is everything okay? I see you talking to that police officer. Uh, yeah, everything is fine. I've got to go. I have an emergency I need to take care of. Okay, don't let me hold you up. So, what was in that box? Mm, uh, bought some clothes. I thought you said you were not expecting any packages. Oh well, I forgot that about that purchase. I have so much going on in my life right now that I tend to forget about a lot of stuff. Jacob is part of this, probably. I know exactly what you mean. I remember when. Why does my neighbor have to be so nosy and annoying? I hate nosy people. You say something? No, I'm just talking to myself. Okay, like I was saying this one time. Hey, Jacob, I don't mean to be rude, but I gotta go. I will talk to you later. Hmm, alright. Hmm. 
door is locked. I hate these doorbells, they're too loud. They've got to be loud, otherwise you won't be able to know who the freaking heck is. Won't know who the freaking heck is going on. Uh, what's that noise? What's that hole? Yeah, listen. Sounds like sobbing and crying. And something else. Well then, it seems we have an uninvited guest. The janitor must have mopped the floors recently. The whispering has stopped. Place your hand inside the wall. No, that's just a recipe for disaster. I'm going to save for the time being, actually. Stop looking at me, it's not nice. There we go. Saved and sound. Okie dokie, so what is to do with this door then? Place your hand inside, there's something here, grab it, most certainly. Almost got it. Ouch, something is biting my hand. Oh. Zed. Zed and Enter will be the best cause of action. I got it. Obtained a red butterfly. Yeah, so I wonder what would happen if... I'm not sticking my hand back in there. No, not certainly. Hello? Yeah, let's enter the room. Um, what the heck is this place? Let's... What the... I don't get what you're trying to... Okay, so orange, blue, purple, blue, orange. Um, nothing happened. Um, what are we meant to do in here? Red. Hmm. No reason that you make any sense. Um. Okay, so uh, orange, blue, blue, and then purple there. One of the hidden portraits. Chief Physican Office. One of the nurses said you wanted to speak with me personally. What's going on? Frank, I've got some bad news. Well, can I come in and sit down? No, you can't. And plus, this won't take long enough at all. I just need to talk to you about a few things. One of our patients have made claims that you touched him inappropriately. What? I would never do anything like that. Now we take these claims very seriously here at Red Eden. And this could be a huge lawsuit if this patient decided to pursue charges against you, me and the hospital. I've been working here for years and I haven't had any complaints. This is horrible I know Frank but you have to see where I'm coming from with this we can't allow this person to pursue litigation against us now we were able to come to an agreement with this patient the agreement is they promised not to sue the hospital as long as you were fired this is horrible and you know it I didn't do it no this is business I'm not going to let you do this to me. Keep playing with fire, Frank, and eventually you'll get burned. It's your word against mine. So, mine, who do you think the authorities are going to believe? Well then. What's that meant to be then? It's a portrait of a man running from a fire. Find all the portraits to unlock a secret. So I'm not sure that maybe the the positioning had to be in relative to the purpleness on here because that's a purple one. Yeah, continuous soundtracks are not appealing for me. Downwards, first floor. That did not face me at all. The door is unlocked. Uh, door. Sorry, the door is locked. Not unlocked. 
My mailbox is empty. Laundry room. Where everyone does their lovely laundry. Uh, it's washing powder. There isn't much left. Washer. Dryer. There is something inside, but the door won't open. Dryer. Dryer. Washer. Dryer. Washer. I pressed it, but nothing happened. Hmm. Is there something I could use to wedge that washing machine open? There isn't much left. Maybe we can find what that is later on. Oh, great. Now it's locked. The door's locked. And there's not... Yeah, don't panic. I just need to calm down. Okay, now I need to find the light switch. Where's that damn thing? I found it. Nothing happened. Stop working. Look, just don't overreact, please. Why isn't it working? Is the asthma going to kick in? Man, this is some bull. Oh, great. A football. What the... Blank. What well, then? Who's there? Hello? And the football is moving by itself. Somebody help me, please. Please let me out of here. Whoever you are. Kick it. What? Kick it back to me. Should I kick it back? Most certainly. Kick it over there. And it's unlocked, it sounds like. Seems the spirit just wants to play. Did the ghost really do this or am I going insane? It did. Could this day get any stranger? Probably not. Oh, that was scary. I need to catch my breath. I'm having trouble breathing. My asthma started to bother me. Press the button to appear on the screen in the correct order after the sequence finishes. Press the correct button during the sequence will cause my face to control his breathing. Press the wrong button during the sequence will cause my face to control his asthma attack. Z. Z A Z. Z A Z. A A A. -A. I'm. I press the buttons. Okay, maybe I need to look at it more carefully. Yeah, game over indeed. Damn it. I think I'm okay now. I just have to open my eyes now. One, two, three. How did I get here? What is this place? Hmm? What is this place? First floor. Why do these strange things keep happening to me? This doesn't make any sense. There's got to be a reason for all of this, but what is it? Yeah, what are, what are these strange, strange events that happen? So it's a pretty small sequence that time. The other one was considerably larger. Okie dokie. Now with that's done, we can proceed on to the next phase of the game. But I wonder if there was an actual secret in this room. Like, literally. There's nothing else to this. Washer, washer, dryer. Could just take it any stranger. Dryer, dryer. Ghost, dryer, washer. Anything inside the washing powder. Nope. Table, table, bin. Pressed it, nothing happened. Are you sure about that one? Should you check it again? Outside. This is exactly what I need right now. Some fresh air. 
Well, we're saying that um, the, the background seems really small and narrow. Like, try and go this way, and yeah. Okay, so there's some animals over here. Hello, squirrel. It's a squirrel. Beehive. I had an allergic reaction the last time I was stunned by a bee. I should avoid this bee nest at all costs. Okay, then do that then. Over there, swings, tree stump, tree log, log, just in general. Something here. This cartridge was recently put out. Okay. I thought that had something to do with my asthma thing. No, I'm talking about the character, not me. I don't have it. I feel really sorry for the people who actually do have asthma and suffer from breathing. Okay, so what's happened here? This is not my car. I wish this was mine, but I can't afford it. You can't afford that bike? And there's a football pitch. Nothing too special. Nothing to be in awe by, just your typical thing. I don't need to leave right now. Well, what the heck do we need to do then? What do we need to do? What does one need to do? If we can't leave right now, then what does one need to do? Maybe this is the end of this particular bit of the game? I don't know. So how the hell can we leave? Doors locked. Doors locked. Um, anything upstairs? Nope. Final report was to find a secret. I found one already. Need to find another one of this chapter. That one's locked. Maybe it's doorbells. Today's going to be a good day. I can just feel it. Do you now? Because I don't think... Oh, I'm sorry, but I had another emergency that requires my assistance. Your wife has been transported to Red Eden Hospital. Here's my map. Okay, so this is what we need. And the room number she's been placed in. Okie dokie. Red Eden's Burger. RD Mart. Red Eden High School, five dollars or less. It must be like a fast food restaurant. Ned's Fish Shack, Red Eden's Hospital in red with a big H sign on it. The hospital's phone number is written on the back of a map. How could this happen? She was right there. Am I going insane? What should I do? I have to think for a second. Okay, I think I got it. I could call the hospital to see if she is there, or I could call her for cell phone. The last option would have be for me to drive to the hospital. I need to make a decision right now. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, there's nobody in there. Even though you kind of talks to her. Uh, a couple of minutes before the police officer actually arrived. Uh, call Eve's cell phone. Please pick up the phone. This is probably the bad one. She's not answering. Call the hospital. Is the hospital going to answer? Come on, pick up the phone. Damn, the hospital phone line is busy. Uh, fine, call the cell phone again. Neither are responding. Yeah, there's, that's a toilet. Don't need a try every time. To wait till next week to see what happens. So can we actually go to the hospital? 
Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Okay. Yeah, you're the one who's causing all this, Jacob. Because you keep looking at me like that. Thinking everything's going to be a good day. Travel to Red Eden Hospital? Absolutely. Could this day get any stranger? That weird dream, the mystery box, bizarre events, and my wife's accident. I've experienced bad luck before, but nothing like this. I hope I can make it in time. Huh? It's starting to get dark. I should probably turn my headlights on. There we go. Red Eden Hospital. Hmm, and it's quite dark already. I'm finally here, although I am standing on the sign. Red Eden Hospital. Okay, according to this map, I need to get to the room. Room 105. The main entrance should be this way. Eve, don't die on me, please. See, we can actually walk on the sign. Or maybe that's just part maybe that's just part of the pathway actually as I'm looking at it now. But we could go behind it. Right. Emergency uh, main entrance, emergency parking. I need to find E first before I leave. I need to use the main entrance. Okie dokie. And there's no one here. Hello? Is anybody here? Nobody's here. Where is everybody? Where could people be? No smoking. Absolutely not. I believe this hospital to be empty. This snack machine doesn't have much variety. I can't believe this. This menu machine doesn't have any jelly cola. Are you sure finding jelly cola is going to be your best thing to worry about right now? It's chewing on something. Well, we'll leave it be. Knock on the door, but it's got a slight bit of blood on the bottom of it. I don't think anyone is in here. Let's check all these doors. Knock on the door. Anybody's here? Knock on the door. I don't think anyone's here. I just want to knock all of them just to make sure. Urinal, urinal. Wash your hands. Rolls. Look at those bags under my eyes. I haven't had a good night's sleep in a while. There's nothing here. That thing is chewing on something. What's it going to open up? Go, story date. Knock on the door. Ah! Some creepy man is stuck in the. came in the bathroom. Don't think anyone's here. My wedding there was not very good. Don't think anyone is in here. Door. Knock on the door again. No one there. I just want to see. Unless there's a Haniko urban mystery in here. Urban legend. But then again, that would only apply if a female visitor came to a female bathroom. Jazz has closet. The door's locked. The door's locked. The elevator, the door will not open. Well, we're going to have to use the manual way of stairs. It's a magazine article about celebrity gossip and news. I can't believe people actually read this absolute garbage. And the word absolute actually justifies what I think of it as well. The door is locked. I need to find an employee key to open this door. Cabinet is filled with medicine or supplies. Medicine or supplies. If you see Frank... Tell him to clean up room 204. Ah, the same Frank. The phone call has been severed. Why would someone do that? Maybe someone would intentionally want to do that. Um, surgery room entrance. Um, there's a lot of blood on this wheelchair. What happened here? Restricted area. Surgery room! Uh, not hospitals. This device requires a security key to open the door, which I do not have. Door is electronically locked. It seems like the door is controlled by the card reader in the corner. The electronic door is not responding. 
This is manual door open. Thank you very much. So stairs it's going to be. So same uh why well Eve's room is 105. 101 and 104 has a cracked window as well. Checkers have already been always sorry, always been my favourite board game. Eve and I would play this game for hours. Eve. I hope you're okay. Shame here. Shame here. Okay, room 101. Pretty flowers. Patient complained about a loud buzzing sound coming from inside the wall of their room. I will move the patient to room 101 until further notice. Okay, patient good, fair ball. I don't see anything inside the bedpan. What about on the bed? Uh, IV machine, patient monitor. The dresser appears to be empty. Okay, okay. That's 101. 102 is locked. 103 is locked. 104 is locked. Okay. 105. Eve, are you in there? Eve? The door is locked. I need to find the key for this room. Why do you lead me to here only to find a locked door? Just like everything else in life, it's bloody locked. 201. Um, portraits. Ah, we can move the table. What can we do with this movable table? Intersex scavenger hunt. Ladybug, bee, and butterfly. We've already got a butterfly, actually. Uh, maybe we can put a butterfly in here, maybe? Uh, climb up from the desk. Uh, insert. Yes, I would like to see it. I heard a clicking sound in the other room. Nice. Good thing we collected that red butterfly then. Door's locked. Door's locked. Ah, for this one? One of my many fears, which is wearing dentals when I get older. A picture of three grandfather clocks. One of the clocks faces us has a blue hue. Okay, is that meant to mean something? I don't have a word to describe what I'm looking at right now. But what the heck are you looking at? I can't, it's, not, it's not detailed enough to have a clear idea of what the heck it is, unfortunately. IV machine, patient monitor, the dresser appears to be empty. Maybe it is less empty than it looks to be. Door is locked. Uh, next floor. Okay, third floor. 301 locked. Notice board. Okay, bulletin board then. This bulletin board has several flyers posted to it. One of the flyers appears to be a scam. Oh, 50 now is no experience necessary. Call now. Yeah. This next machine doesn't have much variety. And these vending machines are so overpriced. I could spend a small fortune on just one snack. Should probably be out of date anyways. Door handle's broken. Then why the hell did it make a door handle sound? That's what I want to know. Door handle's broken. Ah, we're going to 3050. This is a really weird patient room. It's a coloring book and three crayons. Um, something up there. Grab the key. Absolutely. Why the heck would it just be in here? Please remove all the furniture for any room that resides on the third floor. This is a bad... Sorry, there is a bad infestation of bees inside the interior of the walls. Patients in room... Okay, we'll be moved to the sick room in the basement. Whoa, right, great. Ah. This is one of the patients. Lily Gibson. Age 10, birthday October the 13th. Um, October the 13th, in which the uh, full game is going to be released, by the way. Likes art, cartoons, ice cream, pizza, dislikes bats, spiders, vegetables. Lily Gibson. That name it sounds familiar. Footsteps. What was that? It sounded like footsteps. Yes, it did. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be another event where an asthma attack might occur. 
Well, thank goodness we could leave as soon as possible without the need of being bloody scared. There's a spare fuse in the x-ray room, in case you need it. <coughs> it's just not for the x-ray room, in case you need it. Well, thank Christ we needed that, don't we now? Power room. The room with all the power. Electronic dis sorry, electronic system that distributes power to the hospital. Although that looks a bit dangerous. Obtain the janitor's key. Electrical equipment engages. Looks like a power switch. Um, not yet. This cord has been severed. It's too dangerous to open this panel. I need to find a way to open it without getting shocked. I'll come back there later on, actually. And up this way. Fifth, fifth floor, okay. Looks like the fuse is missing from this panel. Why don't we just grab the fuse that we found earlier? Conveyor belt? This looks like a conveyor for my dreams. Uh, maybe this is something which is going to be reality, as you just saw. Fire exit. This is the first time I've felt safe since I entered this hospital. It's so peaceful up here. Don't have any ideas now, will you now? For start of suicide. Okay, so elevator. Uh, yes, please. The elevator's not responding. Well, for goodness sakes, why'd you put the function in there in the first place? Oh, spare foods in. Okay, so it's telling us if there's a spare thingy, but Bobby. Okay, we're gonna go to. Open this damn door. What the hell? Hey! Who are you? Took you long enough. Huh? Do I know you? Don't get smart with me. Oh, okay. I've been waiting in this lobby for 10 minutes and no one has come to help me. Don't just stare at me, you idiot. I need the medical assistance right now. I'm not a doctor. Well, quit staring at me and go find one. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's a freaking hospital. There's got to be a doctor around here somewhere. I don't know where the doctor is or the nurse or anybody for that matter. It's like the place has been deserted or abandoned. You think I'm a fool? Well. The parking lot is filled with cars and you're telling me that there are no employees here? But everybody in this building is simply vanished? I find that hard to believe. I'm not lying, but feel free to look around. You can see for yourself that we're the only ones here. I might as well, because it's clear to me we don't have a clue about what's going on here. Whatever, I don't have time to argue with me. I've got to find my wife. Just go straight through me. And he has the nerve to call me an a-hole. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got Janice's key, not the employee. Employees only key. Oh, there's the janitor's closet. Okay. Uh, just apply to the door. Use the janitor's key and unlock the door. And we find in here some things which belong to a janitor, probably. Claw hammer. We could pick that up, you know? Let's also try to gain access through the vents by removing this vent cover. Might be useful. Bunch of supplies stored in here. Old broom. Uh, stench from this mop is unbearable. I think I'm going to throw up. I shouldn't have looked into the mop bucket. Oh dear. Fire extinguisher. Frank's nose. Something weird is going on around here at this hospital tonight. I've spent the last few hours cleaning up vomit and other bodily fluids in just about every patient's room. It's like all the patients have food poison or something. What are they feeding the patients for them to vomit like that? I asked one of the nurses about this, but she just ignored me. I pray and hope that I don't get sick like them, because I can't afford to get sick. I just can't. My shift ends in about an hour, so hopefully I can make it out of here without catching this flu or bug that has manifested within this hospital. Toilet tissue. Bunch of supplies installed in here. Ladder. Can we go up the ladder? Maybe we can't actually. Climb up my desk. 
might be able to pass through the spent. Uh, we'll check on 105 actually for the time being. Cool. 105. 105. Used 105 to unlock the door. Bet there's nobody in here though. Yeah, there's no one here. If my wife isn't here, where is she? Bedpan. That, that, that. Patient name, Eve Holloway. Condition critical. Patient monitor, IV machine, sorry. And that's her cell phone, is that? It is. Eve's necklace. Ah, necklace. But why has it suddenly gone dark in here? Well, at least we've got physical evidence that she probably was here. But now we need to find other means to try and find things. And what better other way than to look up here, climb up on my desk, and then pass through events. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. Examine room 1A. Okie dokie. Lunds. Patient's x-ray. Uh, patient name, Jenny Robinson. Condition fair. This here. Looks like a scaphoscope. Um, it did say there's a spare fuse in here. Spare fuse in here? Maybe? Chair? Can't go in there. Um, can't go back through there. Hallway. Exam room 1B. Mm. Picture of a patient's x-ray. Thomas Williams condition poor, fair, poor, critical. Eve Holloway was critical. You unlock the door. Ah, okay. End up somewhere else. Ah, here's the X-ray room. Okie dokie. Patient health, excellent, good, fair, poor. The safe is locked, I don't see a keyhole or a door handle. There's got to be a way to unlock the safe, right? Uh, that safe probably has a fuse in it. Press the button, yes. Ah, now that lights up. Picture of a patient's x-ray. Keep on purple for now to see what the changes might be. Scott Mullen, condition fair. Go away to unlock the safe. Yeah, um, uh, aha, okay. Colors. What do these colors mean? Red. Red. Okay, they're all red. What about these machines? Red, purple, red. Hmm. Red. Okay. Red, purple, blue, maybe is in like the colors. Oh wait, hold on. Um, okay, so this one's purple. Okay, now it's blue. Red. Purple. Don't need to use this anymore. Well, why not? Don't need to use this anymore. Oh, okay. So, purple, purple, red. Take a fuse. Yep, obtained a fuse. So, I wasn't sure on how to do that puzzle. It was just by luck, really. Purple, purple, red. 
There must be some reference in the hospital as to what that was. So we got a fuse. Map. Eve's necklace. Why is it going to be done anywhere as we get the last? Well, we can't see the text because it doesn't follow down to the next line. So, we've got a fuse. Oh, this will allow me to restore power to be elevated on the fifth floor. Well, that's just great, isn't it, now? I wonder if we can find this a-hole anywhere in this hospital. And then if he doesn't find anyone, he probably thinks that we've done something to all of them then. Bloody a-hole. Power room. Okie dokie. Power switch. Turn it off. Open the panel. The panel's missing several fuses. Don't need to use this anymore. Okie dokie. If you're missing several fuses, then what the heck can we do? Replace the fuse. The fuse has been replaced. Good. What the heck is that up there? Is that a camera up there? Fire extinguisher. There's definitely a camera up there. Good. Okay, let me just go and save. Saving is very important because I feel like I've done a lot without saving, which is very bad in case something bad happens. There we go. Excellent. I feel I've been here for more than that time. I'm not going to lie. Go up, go up. Okay, the power's been turned off, even though it's still bright as hell up here. Need to press a button to use an elevator. Okay, call the elevator. Absolutely. Enter the elevator. Absolutely. Um, basement. We haven't been to a basement yet. Whoa, hi there. Help me! Well then, are you the guy from earlier? Oh, health. This must be a dangerous area then. A cabinet filled with several documents. Spider web stores. Don't leave the air. Help me. I think going near you is going to be bad. Get me out of here, man. I'm stuck in this web. Hurry. It's you. You're the guy I met earlier. Wait a second. How did you get down here? I used the elevator. Help me. You're lying. I just fixed the elevator. Up until that point, it was inoperable. That's not important how I get down here. You need to get me out of here. Before what? Please help me. I don't want to help you. No, I'm not going to help you because I didn't appreciate how you spoke to me earlier. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean it. I was not in the right frame of mind when I spoke to you earlier. I apologize now. Will you help me? That didn't seem too sincere to me. I think I'm going to let you hang here for a bit longer. Wait, 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 wait a second. I can help you. Excuse me. Your wife. I know where you can find her. There you go, lying again. You don't know about my wife. I'm not lying, I can take you to her, but you have to free me from this web. I don't believe you. You would say anything at this point to get free. No deal. <laughs> Damn it, what am I going to do now? I have no idea, but we're not going to help that person out. Hey, hey, wake up. I'm going to get you out of here. How long was I asleep? I don't know. Well, it's about damn time. I know you weren't leaving me down here. I knew you would come back for me. The only reason I help you is because I can't find my wife. I looked everywhere. Do you really know where she is located? Yes, I'll take you to her. Just get me out of here. Hey, hey, look at me. Don't fall back asleep. Wake up. I'm so tired. I need you to wake up right now. Okay. End of chapter one. Maximum score three. And what about that? I don't know. Don't know how you would actually operate that sort of score. Hey! That's excellent. We've got all three scores. Is that to, just to do with exploring the entire place or what? 
continue. And that is the first chapter of Third Exit. Hope you enjoy that, folks. It's quite nice in its own little ways, although I think the... Oh, sorry. The graphics on the game, in comparison to like all the special effects, are... Well, the animation effects here have been far, far outclassed the, like, the default graphics of the game. I'm not sure if they're default or they're made, but I think they're default in RPG Maker MV, but you know what. That's besides the point. So, it's a nice introduction to the game. There are two more chapters which are acquirable from October the 13th on Steam. It's a commercial game, so of course you're going to have to buy it. Chapter 1 is for free, obviously, because you can just download it from RPG Maker. But, hope you enjoyed that little bit of a game, folks. We're going to come back to Chapter 2 and 3 when it comes out. So, thank you very much for watching. We shall see each other in the next time. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.